Hi everyone, it's Lori from LoriStory.com. Thanks again for joining me for another Cricut tutorial. Today I wanted to talk about something that's fun and new and exciting and it's kind of taking over social media for crafters. I don't know if you've heard about it yet, but these are called pocket letters. They were created by Jeanette Lane and if you want to learn more about them, you can go to her blog, JeanetteLane.com. But what this is, is sort of a pen pal type concept using scrapbooking supplies and, you know, snail mail. Something we're kind of getting away from in this age of digital correspondence. These are created out of baseball card sleeves. Jeanette Lane thought of this idea when she wanted to do Project Life and, on a budget, and she thought this would be the least costly way to do Project Life, and it turned into something entirely different for her, and it's just caught on like wildfire. What you do is you get the baseball sleeves and you just fill these little pockets. They're two and a half by three and a half, two and a half wide by three and a half long. And you just fill them with all kinds of little goodies. Now, not everybody puts goodies in them, but that's what I do. And that's um, all the swaps that I have done. That's how we've been doing them. And the goodies can be anything. It could be a package of tea. It could be fun little die cuts, which you can see is a lot of what I do. Um, I have several of them here to show you, just to give you an idea. And a lot of these pockets that you see like this, there's probably a, another envelope like, sort of like this one behind this filled with some more goodies. So you have to really kind of go through your letter when you get it and see what's in it. This was cut with the Cricut. This hello was cut with the Cricut. This love this was cut with the Cricut. These little die cuts were both cut with the Cricut along with that heart. Um, I think I have some wooden embellishments in there. The small tag was cut with the Cricut. On this one, the high was cut. This was a print and cut. Uh, the, the spool here was cut with the Cricut. That is actually an epoxy sticker. I didn't cut that one with Cricut. There's a lot of goodies behind this. I didn't take a picture of the back side. This a door right here. I don't know if you can see that. That's cut out of silver glitter paper. That was cut. The butterfly, the thanks, the and sign. Um, there's some things behind there. Some of these goodies were cut with the Cricut. I stuffed this entire pocket full of all kinds of little die cuts. The thing I wrapped the string around, the spool, is cut with the Cricut. The hello that's in there with my sequin pocket is cut with the Cricut. And again, there's little hidden treasures behind it. So that's half the fun when you get one, is kind of going through the pockets and seeing what's in there. You also always include a letter. Um, sometimes they specify what your letter is going to be about. Sometimes they don't when you do the swap. Mine's just a general letter. And here's one last one. You can see this is also filled with die cuts. So. That's a pocket letter, and I thought it would be fun to use some of the new Cricut products that are out and fill and make some pocket fillers. So I started with acdigitals.com. This is um, a website put out by American Crafts, and it has not everything that they have, but several things that they have several brands that they have, they have a digital version and you can use those digital versions with your Cricut Explorer. And I do this quite a bit. I love to do this. I always start here in the brands and they have American Crafts brands. And if you go into that, you can see that includes things like Amy Tangerine, this Kringle and Company collection, the Pumpkin Patch collection. Um, you can go here and you can see there's some Amy Tangerine, there's City Park, Daydream, Dear Lizzie, just all kinds of digital collections. And this is the same stuff you see in Hobby Lobby and Michael's and Joann's. And you can buy the little packages of ephemera. Well, you can make your own if you have the Cricut Explore and Design Space. So one of my favorite brands is Heidi Swap. So I'm going to start right there. And Heidi has several of her brands in digital form. 
or several of her kits in digital form. This is my all-time favorite kit, favorite things, and you've probably seen a lot of these on my projects, and you just saw some on the pocket letters. The Dreamy Collection, Happy Valentine's, Serendipity, No Limits, Mixed Company, Sugar Chic, Vintage Chic. Not all of her collections are on here yet, but keep watching because a lot of them are. You can buy the individual pieces of the kit or you can buy the entire kit. And I usually buy the entire kit, but if you just want the ephemera, you can. That's right here. And you'll see some of this in today's project. But if we go back to, um, let's just go to the favorite things. The, if you buy the entire collection, you get the journaling card, you get the ephemera, and you also get these digital papers. And Cricut has said that they are working on uh, being able to import patterns. And once they do that, you'll be able to use these collections in there. That's not available yet. It's coming somewhere down the road. We don't know when, but they have mentioned it and said that it is on their work in progress. So hopefully that'll be coming soon. But and then you'll be able to import these patterns into your design space as well. So I recommend getting the entire kit if you if you want. But I bought for today's project, I bought the um, mixed company kit and we're going to work with that. So we're going to go back over here to design space. And you can see I've already kind of got a work in progress here. What I did was I created a grid and this grid is the size of my project life cards are two and a half by three and a half. And what I, this just not, I'm not going to cut this or anything. It's just to give me an idea of what size to make my pocket fillers. I, I want to make sure that whatever I'm cutting is going to fit in there and, and be proportionate. So again, it's just there for sizing. And again, the pocket letters are two and a half wide by three and a half long. So how did I get these elements in here? Well, we go to Upload Images. We go to Basic Upload. We browse. And here is that file that I bought, the Heidi Spot Mix Company file. I'm going to double click on it. And you can see I bought the entire kit. So I have two that say PP, that's pattern paper. So that just has the papers in it. This one has journal bits. This one has glitter stickers. And this one is the ephemera EP. We're going to click on that one and click it again. And here we can see all the different ephemera. So I thought it would be fun to cut this one out. And you can see it comes in as a PNG file, which means it doesn't have a background and that's great for design space. You can cut it if it has a background, you just have to do a little cleanup. So I'm just gonna click on moderately complex image. Simple image would probably work, but I'll just click on moderately complex. And it looks great. You can tell where the checkered background is, is not going to cut, but we can check the preview and double check. It looks good. And so we're going to hit continue. Here we can name it. I've already imported this, so I'm not going to go through the, the routine of renaming it, but I named it like Heidi Swap, Mix Company, Gold Star. You can name it whatever you want, if you want. Down here, you have the preserve original image within shape box. What that does, if you uncheck that, the only thing that Design Space is going to look at is the cut line. It doesn't care about that pattern, the gold, or what it says on the front of it. It's only going to import this cut line. Whenever you want to print something, then cut it, you want that box checked because that's going to bring in the entire image. It's also going to bring in the image as a print, then cut file. So when you get to your mat, it's going to come in automatically as a image that it expects you to print. So when you get into your mat and something comes in and you say, I didn't want to print that, I just want to cut it. That's why, because this box is checked. So again, if you uncheck it, you're just going to get the cut line, nothing to print. Checking it, you're going to print it. So we're going to hit save. And I had already uploaded this to my project bin. So you see I have two, but it'll be this first one. And we hit insert image. And so now we have our gold star and I can size that down to whatever size I want. And that looks great to me. Let's go get, I'm going to show you how I did. Well, let's go get another image. Let's do upload image, basic upload, browse. We're back in our Heidi Swap file and I'm going to do this wonky star. I think that's cute. 
we'll hit open, hit moderately complex. Again, simple image would probably be fine, but it's not going to hurt to go moderately complex. Let's double check our cut lines. At this one, you know, it, it's gold. Maybe I want to cut it out in a different color. So I could just uncheck this box and just bring it in like that and fill it with whatever color I wanted and flatten it and change it to a maybe a pink star. But I want it just like it is. So I'm going to leave that checked. And again, you could name it. I've already imported this, so I'm not going to do it. But I would name it Heidi Swap, Mixed Company, Gold Star, Wonky Star, something like that. And hit Save. And we're going to check on it. And Insert Image. And there we have a star. Okay, and let me show you how I brought in the Hello. I'm going to go to, again, Upload Image, Basic Upload, Browse. And I also have these Heidi Swat PNG files. And she has several handwritten PNG files available at AC Digitals as well. You can check those out as you want. She also has a lot of her handwritten objects available on her blog, HeidiSwap.com. So I'm just going to pick this hello, and I'm going to hit open. And you can see it's a PNG file. That's great. I'm going to hit moderately complex and continue. And it comes in really big. So let's zoom that out. And let's hit the preview. Preview looks good. Looks nice and smooth. Everything's perfect. So I'm going to click preview again, and then I'm going to hit continue. Now this one I'm not going to print. All I want to do is cut this out. I'm going to cut this out of the new metallic vinyl by Cricut. So I don't need that preserve image checked. And again, I can tag it, but I'm not going to. I've already imported it. And I'm going to click it and insert image. And here's another hello. So I can size this one however I want. I don't need to cut this grid out, so I'm going to turn the grid off. And let's hit go. And you can see our first sheet comes up. This is going to be cut out of the printable magnet paper. A lot of people ask, why do we have fuzzy edges? Well, that is because Cricut Design Space puts a bleed on their printables. And what that means is they put a little extra ink around the edges so that when it cuts, you're sure to get no white edges. You're going to get a perfectly edge-to-edge -edge cut design. You can turn it off by going over here to More Matte Settings, clicking the down arrow, and unchecking that. And you can see the difference. I highly recommend leaving that on so that you don't get any white edges. It won't look fuzzy once it cuts it. Next, we have our Hello, Hello, which we're going to cut out of the blue metallic Cricut vinyl. Next, we have our basic shapes, which we're going to cut out of the metallic poster board by Cricut. And lastly, we have our Happy, Happy, which I'm going to cut out in the gold metallic vinyl. Oops. So we're going to use the gold metallic, the metallic poster board, the blue metallic, and the Cricut magnet sheets. And then I'm going to put a pocket letter together and show you how I use these objects in my pocket letter. And here you can see my final cuts. The hello, the cameras, the flowers, the stars, and the hearts are all the printable magnet sheets by Cricut. The metallic poster board heart and stars, they're in the center, cut with the poster board. The new metallic vinyl, both in the blue and the gold with the happy and the hellos. And now you'll see how I use them in my pocket letter. Well, you done done me and you bet I felt it. I tried to beat you, but you're so hot that I melted I fell right through the cracks Now I'm trying to get back Before the cool done run out I'll be giving it my best This and nothing's gonna stop me But divine intervention I reckon it's again my turn To win some or learn some But I won't hesitate 
take no more, no more. It cannot wait. I'm yours. And I laughed I guess what I'll be saying is There ain't no better reason To rid yourself of vanities And just go with the seasons It's what we aim to do Our name is our virtue But I won't hesitate No more, no more It cannot wait I'm yours we'll Open up your mind See like me, open up your plans and damn you're free I look into your heart and you will find that the sky is yours So please don't, please don't, please don't There's no need to complicate Cause our time is short This or this or this is our fate I'm yours As always, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the red subscribe button next to the video. I will list all the products used in the description below the video. And don't forget you can visit me on my blog at lauriestory.com. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.